Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share with you why it's important to respect all energies and live consciously in every moment. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about sharing positivity and empowering others to live their life to their fullest. We're all creators. We have the capability to create our life the way we want. So let's make it beautiful together. Let's dive in. So recently I was with um, Master Sri Akashana and he was talking about living consciously every moment. And I, I was... You know, I, I, I am used to um, uh, learning about respecting all energies from a, a young age where we kind of um, respect everything around us, including food and water. And I'm pretty sure you guys grew up the, uh, in a similar way where you um, kind of do prayers before eating. Um, but then sometimes those habit kind of slips away when you grow up um, and then and then you still respect the food and water and everything around you but you don't do it consciously you, you just you just know it's there but you um, right away eat your food when you see it right away drink the water when you drink it and you don't pay attention to the little details of how you do every single act every single day um, so it's very important to, important to be very conscious about every action you take in every day um, in your life um, and being conscious about it um, is basically being mindful. And I know my, being mindful, being in the moment, being in the now is talked about a lot um, in, in for the, I don't, I don't know, for the last uh, five, ten years. It's been a very um, a famous uh, topic that people talk about. But at the end of the day, we can we can listen to it, but how we practice is how we can benefit. And, you know, I have been through mindfulness meditations, um, even went through a one full day of um, silence meditation where you don't speak with anyone, um, you don't interact with anyone, but but you sit in a room full of people still, um, but you're so mindful um, about every, every aspect of um, you. Um, so even when you're walking, um, you kind of focus on which muscles you are using, which is something that we don't do on a regular basis. We just get up and walk. Um, and so that kind of helps you um, uh, with realizing that so many things are working for you. Every part of you, every inch of you, every cell in your body is working for you. Um, but we don't recognize that. We don't um, appreciate it um, um, because we don't think about it. We don't, we kind of, we take it for granted because we know it's there and we just don't care about giving acknowledgement. I'm not saying everyone's like that, but I feel like most of us just, you know, we get into our busy life um, and we just start uh, doing things because that's the way things are done, um, but we don't focus on it. But when you actually start living consciously where every act you're um, thinking of putting 100% attention to that, um, and that's something I still need to work on. It's very difficult because my mind wanders around, uh, around a lot and I'm pretty sure most of you um, have your mind wandering around as well. Um, but to, to really put that effort to live consciously every day and put that 100 focus, 100% uh, focus on whatever you're doing. Um, and it doesn't matter what it is. If you're interacting with someone, give that 100% to that one person that you're, or few people that you're interacting with and give that 100% to them. Um, oftentimes when someone's speaking, sometimes, you know, our mind is somewhere else and we only listen half. Um, and, and then, and then same things happen when you're on the phone, like, you know, someone, um, right near you can be speaking, but you're 50% focusing there and then 50% focusing on your phone. You're not attentive to any of it, um, altogether. Um, you're not focusing 100% on the phone and you're not focusing on 100% uh, to the person that's interacting with you as well. So why it's important is that when you start being conscious about every single thing, um, you actually uh, really start acknowledging and appreciating all the things, all the effort that goes around you and within you, um, within your body, um, within your mind, everything. So when you start focusing on that, then you start respecting it. 
Uh, and by respecting, I mean really acknowledging um, the, the benefit it's giving you, appreciating um, the value it's giving you, um, and appreciating the fact that it's keeping you healthy, whatever it is. So if you're drinking water, um, instead of just, you know, gulping down the water, just like because you're thirsty, you saw water, you're just gulping, kind of take that moment to hold that cup in your hand. Um, and Master was telling it's good to hold with both hands because when you're offering something or receiving something, you tend to um, um, give it with both hands because that's respect. So do that even when you're doing it to yourself, when no one's offering it, when you're the one picking up the cup. Take that cup, hold it in your both hands and give acknowledgement to the, uh, the water. And, and really um, show lots of love and compassion and appreciate the water, appreciate um, the, the, the life it's giving you, the, the, the good health it's giving you, whatever it is, just appreciate it and drink it. You test this out. You don't have to believe it because I said it, but you test it out. Take one glass of water and just pick it up, drink it, gulp it down, see how you feel. Take another glass of water, hold on to it both with both hands and speak to it. And you might think it's crazy if you're around people maybe speak silently but you know what I mean speak to it acknowledge it and appreciate it and drink that water and see how you feel you will feel totally different the energy that goes down is totally different everything is energy everything we give out we also receive so the more we give out it's always going energy doesn't die so the more you give out the more you receive so if you want to receive more positive energies and powerful energies, then you've got to start giving out. And by giving out, I mean, be humble about it and respect everything around you. So the next time you um, start eating food, um, don't just rush it down and gulp it down. Uh, pay attention to everything that's on the plate and um, uh, show some respect and, and speak to it and say that you're very thankful for giving you nutrition. Um, and when you do this, when you do this consciously, then the uh, food choices you make um, will actually change as well. Because it's really hard to um, look at something that's not that great. It's full of junk and oil and say, I appreciate you. I mean, yeah, maybe it makes you feel good and you can say, thank you for making me feel good. And maybe the energy will change there as well. Uh, but when you start eating more nutrition food, then you would be more thankful for it, more grateful for it. Um, so these practices actually um, helps you uh, be more respectful and in turn you will receive more when you, when you know there's so many things working for you and it's not just you just grabbing things and eating and you feel like you are the, the powerful person in this planet. Yes, you are powerful, but then we're all one and there's connectivity and finding that oneness, that connectivity is very important. And for that, you need to live, start living consciously and paying respect to all energies around you. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please click the like button and share these videos with others. If you're new to my channel, please um, subscribe to my channel um, and click the notification button as I'm very determined to creating weekly videos for you guys to empower you to live the best version of you. Until then, namaste.